Hey YouTube friends, today I'm trying something a little bit new and I'm hoping to do a few of these videos. They're sort of cheap and affordable camera hacks to help you improve your photography and video. Today I'm answering the question, why do I always carry a shower curtain in my kit bag? So let's find out. <laughs> Okay, so maybe you've been doing video for a little while or maybe you've just bought a new camera, but the chances are you've watched some YouTube videos to get some tips and to learn a little bit more about your camera. One of the things that everyone always says is that audio and lighting is far more important than the quality of your camera. Something else that people say is that natural light is by far the best way for you to nicely light your video or your photos. So with that in mind, if you're anything like me, you dashed out and you bought yourself some lovely lights so that you can light your videos and your photos effectively. And then what happened with me is that I turned up to a shoot one day and actually it was really bright. And instead of battling with getting the lighting right, it was actually just a case of trying to block as much light out as possible. And that particular shoot was incredibly challenging. I had ND filters on my lens to try and block light out. I had massive boards up against windows and my lighting equipment, my new lighting equipment that I couldn't wait to use was left at the side because actually I didn't need it. Now that's not always the case. However, it has come up a few times. After that shoot, I did a bit of research. I started looking at diffusion. So instead of blocking out all of the natural light, how can I make the most of the natural light and control it in some way? So this is where the shower curtain really comes into its own. I picked up a plain white shower curtain. It cost me four pounds, I think, from a sort of DIY um, pound stretchers, I think it was. If you're watching in the UK, you're probably familiar with it, but essentially any cheap DIY or home store is likely to have incredibly, well, I mean, they're crap, actually. I wouldn't want it in my shower, but for the sake of a lighting diffuser, um, really great. Just a white plasticky shower curtain diffuses the light really nicely. So super cheap and easy to get your hands on. I have found it has saved my skin so many times now on several different shoots. They are incredibly light and easy to stuff into your bag. They don't take up much room. They're really durable as well. I mean, they're sort of like a plasticky material and they've sort of got the rings at the top. So they're quite easy to sort of hang and control. And what I've actually done is I've paired it with a telescopic spring-loaded pole, which means that I can just throw it up into any window, really. I've got quite a lot of control over the length of the pole. And in most circumstances, I can get a pole up and get that shower curtain there. I am actually lit right now with natural sunlight from a window coming from just behind the camera. And my shower curtain is up there right now. So let me see if I can show you if I just get my camera here. So I can actually show you that there's my camera. I've got my microphone down here and you can see that I've got this white shower curtain blocking out the harsh sunlight that would be coming through right now. And you can see I've just got the telescopic pole in there and then the actual curtains are up above. And if I move this, you can sort of see the difference. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera. Suddenly that light is much harsher on my face right now um, compared to this lovely diffused look. Let me pull that back across. This lovely diffused look which I get with the shower curtain. So hopefully you can see there, it does make quite a big difference. And the sun is not particularly bright right now on a really bright day. Um, I can't even film in here. I have to completely shut the curtain. But since my trusty shower curtain has come into play, quite often I can get away with it just by diffusing the natural light. I think it's a nice bright feel that you get with that natural diffusion and it's very flattering on your facial features. Let me give you an example. Last weekend I was shooting, I did a day of shooting for a local business called The Learning and Development Company and we were doing some talking head style videos to explain what the business does and the products that they offer and the services that they offer. And I turned up on the day to Ross's apartment on the seafront and I walked into his living room it was lovely and bright and it had a full wall of floor to ceiling windows and the Sun was just pouring in so I you know carried my bag of lights all the way up the stairs walked into this room and was just met with 
glaring sunlight. Now, I had my trusty shower curtain, so what I was able to do was just close the majority of curtains and then hang my shower curtain up in a section which produced a really nice diffused key light for me to light. That shower curtain really saved the day. To give you another example, here is a picture of Joao, friend and colleague from my day job, sat next to a window with the sun blaring onto his face. Now me and Mike held up the shower curtain and you can see an immediate difference to the light. It's a much softer light on his face, and I think you'll agree it's much nicer. He doesn't need to squint, and you know, that's that's nearly there. That's just using natural light, throw up some diffusion. It's partway lit, you know, it doesn't need too much more effort before that's a really nice and usable shot. Now, obviously, shower curtains are not the primary source of diffusion for the industry, and they're certainly not the only DIY option for diffusion either. You could use a white bed sheet or a tablecloth, any kind of white fabric really. You could just go to a haberdashery and buy a large sheet of white fabric. Any of these options are fine. You can also use large sheets of white paper and these will also work. But for me, I really like the shower curtain because it's plastic. It seems to just have an extra durability, which means I know it's gonna last for a while and it doesn't mind being shoved into my bag and not really looked after, which is great. And the other thing is, I think it's quite a nice type of diffusion. Different fabrics will obviously diffuse light in a different way and have a different sort of final look. And for me, the shower curtain is a very soft, nice diffusion, and it does it in such a way that it doesn't block too much of the natural light, which is really useful. So that's it for this week. My quick camera hack on how to affordably diffuse your video footage with a very cheap shower curtain. So next time you're in a DIY shop or a home store, consider picking up a cheap shower curtain just to chuck in your camera bag because you never know when you might just need to diffuse some natural sunlight. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please subscribe to my channel so that I know that you're enjoying my videos and give the video a like. I'd love to hear what other ways that you are diffusing natural light if you're shooting. And other than that, I will see you next week. Check, check, check. Check, one, two, two, I mean, boom, we're talking about diffusion. So today, we are talking about diffusion, diffusion today. Today, we are talking about diffusion, diffusion with a shower curtain thing, a shower curtain. I'm using a shower curtain right now for diffusion. It's amazing. Oh. Why, why do I, why do I carry a shower curtain?